Go. Hi, my name is Andrew with uh, King Sales and Service, and we're here to tell you about some of our products and introduce to you our new uh, latest product, our Top Cat Sprocket Adapter, as well as this Cub Adapter. Most of you know us through our sprockets, um, you know, various anodized collars, both cobbed and CNC machined. And we also had some questions come over the internet as to whether we make uh, chain rings for bicycles, and we do. This is a knockoff Campagnolo sprocket uh, chain ring. So our latest features are our triple hole patterns. I haven't had a chance to put these up, revised pictures on eBay, but you'll notice that they have the heavy duty nine hole mounts, which is eight millimeter bolts. They also feature the six millimeter nine hole mounting and the six bolts for your disc hub uh, mount. Uh, so featuring all three mounts makes it uh, totally universal. Uh, all the sprockets are stamped with tooth sizes and they're available in anodized colors. But if you want to know about our sprockets, you can look them up on eBay or our MySpace page, myspace.com forward slash kings with an S, sales and service, all run together. Um, anyways, uh, the other product that some people have been asking us about more was our uh, tuned, tuned pipes. Um, for those of you who may not know about our tuned pipes for the motorized bicycles, this is our tuned pipe uh, featuring all chrome, chrome steel, stainless, galvanized, and anodized aluminum. Uh, they'll be available very shortly because we finally found somebody to help us do some manufacturing possibly. So that's going to be available and it's a really great addition to your bike because uh, not only does it add a lot of speed, but it adds a lot of torque for you to climb hills with. But we'll, we'll be doing some more on that uh, a little later on. But what I really want to show you now is our, our uh, sprocket adapters. You know, a lot of people who have mounted our sprockets onto a bicycle, uh, this cub, it's fine for them, but for some people, they have special applications like disc brakes they want to work, or some people find the chain line is not quite right, but that's mainly only if you use bigger sprockets. So we'll show you a little bit about our, our, our this is a disc brake bicycle we bought just specifically for the disc brake uh, installation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the components that go into that installation first. Okay, first off, what we have is our custom sprocket adapters, I mean disc sprocket adapter sprockets. You'll notice the hole is extra large. That's because it has to clear the, uh, the uh, hub mount on a disc brake. And these are the two forms of top hats that we have that allow you to use a disc brake as well as mounting the sprocket to the uh, rear axle disc area. This one just has more holes in it because we did it for lightning purposes. Uh, no, no other reason, just for lightning. Well, anyways, uh, how you put this together is you take your sprocket, the uh, sprocket uh, custom designed for use with the top hat adapter, and you place the adapter on top. You run your bolts through the bottom of the, of the sprocket, securing them with nuts on the top. You do that nine times because you have nine bolts, obviously, with the nine holes. Now, one thing that you'll notice, you may notice, is that on some installs, depending on the thicknesses that you use, the bolt may stick above this flat portion here on the top hat, or the nut may stick above there also. That needs to be filed down or ground down so that it's lower than the level of this top hat or your disc rotor will not fit properly. Um, I'll show you basically how, how to do that. So basically what you need to do if you want to make it smaller or grind it down is take a couple nuts, put the nuts always on the bolt first. Then you take a, uh, a grinder or a file, or however you want to shorten it, just grind it. But the reason you put the nut on first is so you can re-thread it. You pull the nut back off and that re-threads your, your, uh, the threads that were ruined by grinding. If you do it the other way, you'll be cursing because you'll have a hard time starting the nut. So always start with the nut on before you grind on the thread area. Now the other side is, you have to worry about a little bit, is if your, if your bolt head is too thick. And the reason for that is, and I'll show you that later, but if you have to custom thin your bolt head, what you want to do is put a couple nuts on the bolt, hold it with vice grips, and then take it to a, a grinder and, and grind a little bit thinner. So anyways, with that having been said, that's how you make custom bolts. Or you can buy them special. Uh, we're working with a manufacturer to make them proper for, from the get-go so you don't have to worry about all that grinding and filing if you don't want to. But anyways, long story short, so what you do is you run the bolts through the back side of the sprocket, put the nuts on, tighten them up. It doesn't take very long to do once you get all your nuts and bolts uh, laid out. I'm going to save time, so I'll just put in two bolts and two nuts just to get the pieces together. Again, running the bolts from behind the sprocket. Let's see here. So. Once you have that done, your assembly should look like this. The sprocket on the bottom, top hat on top. Okay, now 
uh, assuming you grind all these down and put all the nine bolts in, this happens to be a non-race series sprocket. You can buy them race series, which basically is the very thin sprockets. There's no bevel on it, but this happens to be a beveled sprocket, so it's a non-race series. Depending on what you need for clearances, that kind of very depends on what you want to order. So in any event, you take your disc brake wheel and you mount this. You know, you take your rotor and you put your rotor on top of this top head assembly, run the bolts all the way through, tighten them all down. So what you end up with is this. Basically, you have a, your disc rotor. You can come over here and look at the profile. You can show the profile. You so say your disc rotor, then you got your top hat adapter behind that with your sprocket bolted to it. Um, if you come over to the side here, you can see. Now we'll spin this just to show you how true the mounting is. The only bounce you'll get, there's absolutely no wiggle at all on these components. There's no side to side run out or up and down run out because it's precisely held. One other thing, uh, as far as mounting the final step, and we haven't done this yet because we've just been making the top head adapters, but ultimately you put the disc brake caliber back on. Now you'll notice that you'll have, you'll have to vary the room between here and the, the, sp the sprocket and the spokes. You can do that by using spacers. You might have to, you know, do a little grinding here and there to get everything to fit together. And we'll do that in our next installation uh, video. But this is just to show you that the top hat adapter can work with any, uh, most any bicycle. One thing you want to do, check if you're buying a bicycle, um, is you want to make sure there's enough clearance between the rotor and the actual uh, chainstay back here. Um, you can look at that, go to a bike store. If you can stick your finger in there, you should be good to go. Uh, it's not the end of the world if you can't because you can always use an inelegant method of a ball peen hammer and get yourself a little bit extra clearance behind there because the top hat adapter will pull this rotor out approximately a quarter of an inch. So in other words, this rotor is being offset a quarter of an inch. You can adjust the offsets a little bit back and forth uh, depending on what kind of spacers and washers you use. If you need to move the sprocket closer to there, you can reuse the nine hole metal pieces and put that in between the top hat and the sprocket. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video on the uh, top hat sprocket adapter and uh, they are going to be currently for sale on eBay and other sources you can order directly from us. Uh, feel free to call us if you have any other questions or you can write us or email us. Thanks a lot, have a good day and happy motoring.